Real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and add in another guy here, uh, Mr. Drone Tech. Apparently, we didn't remember. Hey, Drone Tech. Hey. Oh. How you What's guys up, doing? Drone Tech. Yes, Drone Tech. How you doing, man? Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay, yeah. Good. yeah, I'm great. Thanks. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. good thank you. Pretty good. Been better. <laughs> I was just out splitting some wood. <laughs> Oh yeah, cool. Did it hurt? <laughs> not, not like actually splitting wood. I was using like a wood splitter. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot easier. But just keep your wits about you with those damn things. Everyone's heard a story or two, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So we just happened to be getting into the anniversary of January sixth. Oh, oh really? Yeah, right. I know. Surprise, but um, yeah. I mean, what did you think of the uh, the 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 thing they did theatrics. at the Capitol, the recent theatrics at the Capitol involving yeah, I mean, the president, totally, the vice president. Yeah, it's just absurd and all of it. And I mean, I, I watched it when it happened and I didn't like what I was seeing and what happened was bad for sure. Like, you know, riding at the Capitol and, and all that, it was not good. But at the same time, like the way right off the bat, you know, when it happened, they were lying about it, saying all these people died. All these these police were killed, which didn't none of that happen. Only person that was killed was actually Babbitt. And uh, I don't know. They just lied about it and exaggerated. It. And now they're saying that you know, unless uh, Democrats get elected, democracy is over. You know, and which you know, I've been saying for years they want to basically uh, outlaw political opposition, and I feel like they're just using this for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're basically saying that to save democracy, we have to end it. We just have to give Democrats perpetual power and, you know, and they, they keep saying that by, you know, like, <clears throat> like um, denying election results is a, an attack on democracy or whatever. I mean, I, I always tell people that Democrats in my adult life, every election they've lost, they've tried to decertify votes. You know, they've called it illegitimate. They've rioted at the inauguration. And they've done, they did that for Trump and Bush twice. I think it's every election, whichever party loses, they just go. Well, no, there was no riot at Obama's inauguration by Republicans. There was nobody. There yeah, was probably a few people riot. saying so. Much. Right. But yeah, you're, the last you're, two you're Republican right. presidents, there's riots at their inaugurations. Did I they always say... refuse to concede? Um, well, Hillary didn't. She, she said that. She may have officially conceded, but then when she like did an interview, her first interview after the election, they asked her if uh, Trump was legitimately elected. And she said, no, it was or she said, I have questions. And then later she said uh, the election was illegitimate and Trump was illegitimate. So, I mean, is that conceding? Well, I'm glad she didn't win. Yeah, she was never a president, though. Y'all hear me. OK, don't see, you? but you're always going to find some okay. like like started. little detail about it to like to explain it away the hypocrisy it's, i don't know if that's a different a, i don't know if that's a little deep no that, that's that's a pretty huge <laughs> <laughs> detail <laughs> the thing about this is if you look back um and i, I think there might have been some riots at bush seniors inauguration too i'm not 100 percent on that but and i don't really know how clinton's went i don't think there was any republicans riding but then you have bush W. Bush first uh, a, a riot at his inauguration. They claimed the election was stolen. They tried to decertify votes. A group of Democrats did, the Black Caucus. Uh, and then, you know, they called it the Bush regime for eight years. You know, they claimed 2004 was stolen too. Riots at his inauguration. Then Obama gets elected. Republicans don't do the same thing, okay? But there's kind of an, uh, an escalation. Then Trump gets elected. We have more riots, more claims of stolen election. It's not legitimate. Russia stole it and all this kind of thing. And then I predicted they, in like 2017 that if Democrats won 2020, they'd say, oh, no interference, perfect election. And I was like, yeah. dead on right. And it's yeah, like, yeah. how, you know, it's because they're so well, that predictable. Course. So you, you're, you're seeing an escalation. So you the say, Republicans yeah. finally riot. And yeah, they've. they've well, did they, did, did they breach the Capitol or, or is that another small See, thing? That we oh, they're saying all that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's an escalation. Breach, that's, that's the breach latest the Capitol. You're, you're saying the, the liberal the media the is not fighting as hard for. <laughs> their opposition <laughs> as they do for their own guys. Right, exactly. That's I mean, hypocrisy.
Yeah, I mean, Somehow. so in, in 2018, we had BLM and Antifa actually attacking the White House to the point that Trump had to be taken to a bunker. And did the media care about it? Police were injured. Secret Service were injured. Uh, yeah, they, I've, they I posted Trump videos about it. Did, um, yeah. And yeah. the White House, the, the story from the media was not that. It wasn't that there was an attempted insurrection because they were calling to like, pull Trump out and remove him physically and lynch him. There was none of that. It was that tear gas was used on the rioters. And that Trump was a goof, uh, was was like Hitler because he was in the bunker. They're just well, misunderstood well, youths, you know that. <laughs> well, like uh, this, this, this is a ser- <laughs> this is I, I mean this as a serious question. In America, are the media supposed? Do people believe them uh, them them to be unbiased? Too many they're you. supposed Nobody not not to have a political uh, leaning. No, I wish them. No, no, they totally do. <laughs> yeah. Every, yeah but, uh, every one of them has and that's how they keep their viewer base by um making content that they are going to want to watch. CNN But they, do the people in general think they are going to be unbiased? Uh, no. I, I don't think anymore. No, no. No. They still claim no. to be nonpartisan. Well, I mean, the, time, I think though. that I would I, well, I'll take that back. I think that the, you know, the the major networks not the news networks i think that I'll, i would say probably at least 50 percent of the population thinks that they are not biased in their reporting yeah, like the nightly like, the uh, nightly news right. david right. Muir or whoever are doing right the, the yeah. six o'clock but when you news. switch on cnn or fox you know what you're getting right well the, but the, the are they allowed is, is to just be as a... bad just so we're clear it's just as bad if not worse because they are have they... that sort of veneer are they allowed to have a political leaning like yeah. uh, publicly? Yeah, sure. yeah. So we have PBS, Public Broadcasting System, right? And NPR, yeah. which is their NPR is the radio, National Public Radio. These both of these, which are in part publicly funded, it's been less and less, but they they do still get public funds. They are clearly biased. They they really pump out the woke like uh uh that kind of stuff, the leftist stuff. And one of their most premier reporters, uh, Yamanchi Alcondor, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She is like an open far left extremist activist. I mean, it, openly. And, and yeah. it, we are pay, we have to pay for that. Yeah. Well, we kind of have the same deal here. We have the, the government or tax paid media that is supposed to be unbiased, but it's extremely biased at the moment. Mm-hmm. TV networks that are openly supporting or leaning towards uh, it used to be one political party now it's more it's leaning towards the right or the left but they're open about it so everyone watching yeah. them knows they, they have that agenda if you're open gonna, no problem yeah. yeah and that whole thing it's so crazy like what you see the democrats doing to me it's clear that they're making this like authoritarian power grab and the media is right there with them helping them and you know, that's I've talked about this before. The Trump and the right always get accused of being authoritarian. But like what, what institutions are supporting the right and Republicans? None. Like it's all in support of the Democrats and the left at the moment. So like well, you have who big are really trying to... maybe they're just really wrong. Well, no. But anyway, I mean, uh, it could be. Well, I'm not saying I'm not like pro Republican on it. I'm not saying they're like perfect. Or right big right business is supporting but... the right. Right. No. But well, <laughs> my my point My point was here is that like this voting rights act, like they're acting like we're back in the sixties and like, there's people who don't have voting rights, which is not true. And except for, you know, felons and kids, which I'm sure they, they do want to give those people votes. I think. Oh yeah. Um, 16 16 and over. They want to give the right to vote. A lot of people in the graveyard. Convicted felons who've been released. They want to give the right. They basically, they basically want to, through the voting voting rights act or whatever this is, the, I can't forget what it's called, but basically what they want to do is just cement the new rules that they just threw at us at the at, at, out of nowhere in 2020. Oh, these right. new rules, right? They, and they want to cement those. And they say that if you take those away, or if there's voter ID, which has broad support across the country, something like 80 percent uh, of people, which includes a really high percentage of Afri- African Americans as well, uh, they say that if you do any of that, then you're going to you're, you're going to keep people from voting which is just ridiculous. I mean, look at people standing in line for COVID when they have like mild or no symptoms. They're standing in these huge lines, but they can't stand in line to, to go vote, you know? So it, it's well, clearly a, a power grab, what they're doing. On that, 
do you think that is a little ridiculous to, to wait in a huge line? Like, yes. say you, you just worked eight or nine hours, you want to get home, but you're going to yeah. stop at the town hall, the fucking lines out the door to vote for governor, and you're like, fuck, am I going to stand in that stupid thing? They Most... have to make it a little easier. Yeah. You know, well, they vote. do. Yeah. They do. They're like, I a actually, lot of these states, a lot of these states, uh, like Florida and Texas, they've actually extended hours and, and days that you can vote. So, but, but but don't don't you accept like uh, mail mail votes mail in votes? Yeah, mail in votes in 2019, the New York Times said was the most susceptible uh, to fraud. They yeah. said that in 2019. Yeah, well, uh, of said, course, was there, proof, was there proof of that though? Was there proof? Yeah, there yeah, was, <laughs> in Look, theory, I do have proof. I do have proof. Uh, in well, theory, have, you can have a just, just guy know. holding a gun to someone's head and telling him how to vote. Well, uh, I just ABC want to News actually did a, a study. They did a yeah. well, they did a, an experiment, and it did not look good for mail-in voting. It, it ended up like only a very small percentage of their votes actually made it to the thing. Most of the people who don't vote, I think, are. I think there's a lot of Democrats who aren't voting, and I think that. If you get them all to vote, it's exactly what you just said, Drone Tack. You're going to have uh, a, it's going to be harder to get Republicans to win. What you need to do is mobilize the, the the Republican people who aren't voting in equal numbers in order to balance it out. If you don't, then it's like you're saying it's uh, well. I agree. I think there needs to be more like Republicans, but it's so hard when you've got this national media, Democrat state propaganda machine constantly demonizing you to the point they're now calling us like domestic extremist. They just keep upping it. It's like right. racist, white right. supremacist, domestic extremist, terrorist. Like, and they've turned us into snarling beasts that, like, to generation, like especially the younger generation, unless they snap out of it, man, they're they're going to go through life thinking that like anybody who's opposing them and politics is literally like inhuman yeah i mean regarding the sixth my biggest shock and there's our our shock jock over there topple here he is my shock was when i came home from work that day i put the shit on the tv and it was like there were dudes going up the stairs climbing over shit with um fucking um Rebel flags, Confederate flags. There was uh, smoke everywhere. It was a riot on the steps of the Capitol. And I, they had cameras inside. It did look fucking crazy. And it was shocking. That view, I was like, holy shit, where is the military? Like, why aren't we protecting this? This is our building. Like, And then that question, of course, sets in later. Like, where was it, the guys? We all knew the date. And it was this thing that was planned. Why the hell weren't the National Guard who were stationed there for two or three weeks after yeah. stationed there for a week before up to the event, setting up everything? You know, that it would have been a big giant nothing burger if there was a bunch of National Guardsmen standing out there with, the, right. you know, yeah. M4s That's and right. AR-15s and stuff. But Right, and they could have, but they wanted it to happen. I mean, I, th I, I really believe that. Yeah, it's a, it was a uh, propaganda was coup. Propa well, look, the, the you, Democrats. Well, let, let me say, well, the coup FBI. Is what it the was. FBI, for example. Yeah. The FBI has proven over and over again they're pretty corrupt. Uh, they've done it the last four years. This Michigan plot. Have you? Do you guys know anything about that? It, it's more Before you more, get into it, sixty-seven percent of the Gret voting Gret age. Gretchen citizens. Whitmer. Right? Sixty-seven. Right. Gretchen. Damn. That's what's higher than I thought. Yeah. Actually, that's yeah, pretty it's good. Been getting higher and higher every yeah. election. But um, so when you say That's voter good. suppression, it's like I don't I don't buy it. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. they based, they essentially they planned and coordinated that entire thing. Uh, uh, FBI informants that they did the whole thing. It was an FBI operation. Like, and it just came out that uh, there was a new story just recently. Uh, BuzzFeed I think did a story about it, uh, talking yeah. about how it, without the FBI there would not have been an operation. Like they were the operation. And recently another guy. They they're complaining that they can't get this thing to court for trial, but uh, these people keep popping up and turning out to be FBI informants. The which FBI is... has been doing that for fifty years or sixty years. <laughs> so, is your contention that it was a frame up job, completely? Yeah, I, well, not completely, but I think that there was probably instigators in there who were FBI and there and it's something that never gets talked about of course it doesn't because our media is corrupt but you got you had that BLM activist or he wasn't with apparently got 
they were kicking him out of their things. But he was a left wing activist, anti Trump guy. He was Jaden X, I think is his, is his name uh, on YouTube. I can't remember what his. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but drill, can, drill can take. Drill hold take. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I say his real name? Because I know his real name. Well, yeah, go ahead. John Sullivan. John yeah, John Sullivan. Sullivan. <laughs> yeah, he went there and he's on video, literally instigating <laughs> people to violence. All right, and then he sold that footage to, to MSNBC and CNN. Like, why is that not a bigger issue? And so, but drone tech is your. If I, sorry for simplifying, but are you saying that this, the sixth January thing, was in a false flag operation by the no, Democrats? No, I don't. I wouldn't say a false flag. I would say there was instigators within the group because look there was tens of thousands of people there There was a lot of people there and out of them it was only actually a few hundred that were like fighting with police and stuff there it was a handful of people really and of those people like once they got in the capital there was not because the police just let them in at one point so uh, other groups so I i'm not saying that it was a false flag but i'm saying that they used it they knew that there was going to be some sort of a big protest and they used that event, like, because Nancy Pelosi could have had National Guard there. She chose not to. That's yeah, crazy. afterwards, they put erect fencing and shit everywhere. Like, why didn't they do that before? Like, Trump, they put, when, before they attacked the White House, Trump, uh, the Secret Service put fencing, a wall around the White House. to yeah. keep Because they knew that that was coming. And they, it did come. <laughs> and they uh, were attacking the fencing and all that. So, And Trump got mocked for that, too, by the way. It was extremely erect fencing. Right. There's first of all, I, I want to say erect. erect. John John so Sullivan. They knew they he's not a right winger, but uh, there's no evidence that he was working. Say again. That start that sentence again. He's, John uh, Sullivan was you know was a lefty for sure, but there's no evidence that he was working at the behest of anyone to instigate. Well, he, he was oh, just well, interested. All I know is that he's on video instigating. instigating. And he sold that footage to the Democrat state media. Who so. was with him? There was another, there was a woman with him that worked right. for another news network, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that, but you're yeah. right. And you know what else? There's actually Discord from this guy's Discord server where they're talking and like to groups of people talking about dr dressing up as Trump supporters and shit. So, I, you know, none of that stuff. It's like uh, if, if we had a real press, they would investigate that stuff. And, and but they don't because they're complicit <laughs> at, at some level. They're complicit in all this stuff. So yeah. remember the uh, the Glenn Youngkin. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. The Glenn Youngkin by the Lincoln thing. Project. That was. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, was, there's definitely I, that was a false flag. <laughs> well, yeah, and then look at look at what they were doing to Trump. They literally they gave they disseminated into the media Russian disinformation, the Steele dossier, which was paid for by the Trump's DNC. political opponents, right? And they disseminated that out. He they told Trump about it so they could then disseminate it, which they did into the media, who then put it out to the country in an attempt because they wanted to impeach him early. They they were saying before he was inaugurated, they wanted to impeach him. So this was their insurance policy that those other two FBI agents were And they even lied in the, in the FISA court so they could get warrants to spy on the campaign. Like, this is corrupt all the way. Like, I don't see how anybody can trust these people at this point. Mm. I don't have to talk tonight. Drone you never this isn't conspiracy have. stuff either. I mean, this is all you can read about it on CNN, I'm sure. But everyone missed that Smoke Steve's wife wrote that Pee Wee Herman went to the Alamo. Yes. I put it's the most important thing that was oh, said yeah. all night. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> well, huh? dude, I was trying to explain a few minutes ago. When I got home and I saw that chaos. <laughs> there he is. Hey, DeLone Wolf, you have to mute one of your two, one of your two feeds. God I'm glad it's not me for once. I yep. think somebody yeah. shot him. It looks like there's blood everywhere. Well, what I was trying to say, Top, <laughs> Top, when I got home and I saw that crazy riot, which was happening live, like riot. I was like, holy shit, dude, dude, it's been described by conservatives as a riot. It's not okay. a riot, what we've seen. Ted Ted Cruz like said it was an act before. of terrorism. I mean, oh, it was yeah. a riot on the lone wolf. Right? There, Ted were, Cruz. Guys, Ted there Cruz. were guys using like uh Whatever fucking things they could find to smash windows to get in and fire smashing up. windows. That's I will crazy. say this: Biden said that it was an armed insurrection. Like no, nobody no. was armed. Uh, it was it's a, a riot. Total lie. There it was, was not a riot. It was it, a riot. Right. It was a, Let, let's take it a vote here. A Dude, I'm pretty, it was a riot. It was, I will riot. call it a riot. Now, drone tech. I think I got in an argument with you like the night it happened or the next night, and you Three were saying it was. Cypher you were saying riot. it was a. 
a, a rowdy protest. Is that I what was, are we talking about? I'm I've, I've evolved, okay? <laughs> well, I, I, I'll, I'll agree with Ryan. You know, you know the most <laughs> awkward feeling in the world is when you start a riot and nobody riot. joins in. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we have... You mean yeah, po- insurrection as opposed to riot? Or just to describe it, it's it was a riot. riot. Yeah, we yeah. Have... A, 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 a protest that got overly rowdy that's you call it a more riot. Riot. <laughs> oh yeah well violent okay violent it was a riot i mean yeah, with oh get yeah, out I'll of go here with riot. Well, but i'm not gonna go with, prior to this you know you're calling you that know. a riot almost yeah, nobody just died. the only shot fired was you know to kill an unarmed question you know, right. how many you times know, did veteran. you see portland on the news how oh here's the one on this no, yeah. I don't well, give okay. a fuck. Yeah. I'm talking about what happened yesterday with all these fuck fuckheads that went up on a podium and fucking lied to your face. Yep. What did they lie? What did they lie about? Mine lied. lind lied. He said that it was an armed insurrection. Five, five dead people. Well, that. yeah, that's a lie. My What's question, an insurrection, though? What's it? Let's look, read it. It's a violent an uprising. It's a that's violent a uprising against an authority or government. government so that's right. that's well. But, I mean, you would you would you would. How many people have been people charged for... with insurrection? None. No, I'm just saying, I'm just reading just a violent uprising against an authority or government. So that's, yeah. I mean, that, that's enough t- different from what you think it is to, 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 if, to, that's, to if we're going to be go against with that, people. If, if, if we're going to go with that, would you call, would you call, uh, that, that, that's a funny, that's a, would you call any of the riots in 2020 oh, an insurrection? No, no, but I have to say something about you Americans. How many people have been charged with insurrection? How many people have you? killed because of insurrection you charge right. them you charge them good oh. aphid what would you call and the media never called it this but would you agree that what we saw in portland would be an insurrection oh man you're not going to find if you're looking to trap me and and no, no. try to put I'm me as curious. a defender of oregon you got the no, wrong person i'm just asking would you call that an insurrection what I call, I mean, I would have to. In, in, There's in, in that, actual bombs thrown at the federal building. They caught it on fire. Yeah, they, like, I mean, burned down police. I, I tell you, I'll, I'll put it to you this. I'll put it to you this way: If any of those people that did those acts got and the, and the, ten years, ten years, right, name, right, right, I would have to ten years. Years. Hold on, hold on. What, you asked me a question. I'm saying, I'm just, if those I'm, people that did those actions that threw a bomb or attacked the police. If they got 10 years in prison or more, I don't care if they got 20, 30 years. I wouldn't cry about it like people did when that one guy no. got five years for his actions with trying to, you know, uh, bash well, a cop's head with a fire extinguisher and yeah. throwing a fire extinguisher at uh, somebody. And, okay, yeah. you know, I mean, it's it's just it's it's I mean, ridiculous. That's, these that's, charges that's, are the, BS. Spirit Buffalo that's the description of somebody that's Buffalo independent, not swayed by their own party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Drone tech. No, my point was that did the media ever call it? Did they ever pounce on that and be like, oh, the, look at these Democrats, these left wingers, they're. Uh, insurrecting in Portland, and and not just there, but I mean the White House attack. You could have called that an insurrection, right? The attack. I on guess. The White House. I guess what I'm telling you is I don't use the media or how they react to certain but that, situations. The point is to they cloud my vision of how I react. I'm not. To certain I'm not making it personal with you, Aphid. I'm no, I understand you're not, but you use the media to anger yourself at how you feel about different situations. You use the media to no, that's not, yes you do you you say how they do this and they do that and they do that like i'm looking like for there's some, some continuity overall here, some consistency <laughs> there's some that's overall it. there's some overall like like people behind the scenes that are controlling certain right. situations if how you're not you happy with how the you? media if Amen. you're not happy with how the media treats a certain They're situation throwing bombs don't... at the freaking federal building in portland real bombs yeah. dynamite yeah, yeah they should not, be charged. I, well, I don't know what you're trying to get is, from me. Uh, that well, was I never a major with... media story. They, well, why... they caught an Antifa today, today, or maybe but yesterday. But that doesn't change. What I'm saying is it doesn't change my feelings bomb. on Have you Oregon. seen that in the media? Have you seen yeah, that but in the media? Nope. I have to be fair. All, all this what about this um, is pretty it's not annoying. What about-ism. No, it's not what about ism. <laughs> it's called... How do you? I, I don't understand how you could say that when actually all I'm asking for here is some consistent standards. That's all well, I'm saying. Yeah, well, how right. can you sit here and, and say that it's an insurrection, what happened at the Capitol, but like literally months worth of consi- concerted, consistent attacks on the federal building in Portland? Yeah, if they bombs in the uh, air. Well, they, well, they, well, they, well, they, well, they said I, that.